All right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to create the finish operation. So the finish operation is going to finish off all those top edges we have left over. You can see that the, there's a little bit of gray, which is, I believe, we left over uh, 10 thou on all the edges. Now, to check how much you've left over, you can come over here to the roughing operation, the lathe rough, select parameters, and then you'll see. And then re remember, we left over 10 thou on the walls and the on the x-axis and the z-axis so on all the walls and the bottom surfaces we left over 10 thou for the finishing operation so we need to create a finishing operation that cleans all of that for us okay so come over here under toolpath and finish all right so now what we want to do is we want to select a window from here to here like we've done before to select that entire toolpath so we can come over here window and select it from here all the way out to here all right so it'll ask you to sketch approximate start point and you want to start right here and there you go you should see the yellow and blue or yellow and black dashed line all the way across and ends right here and select okay all right so for the finishing operation we want to scroll down for a finishing tool let's go ahead and select the od 55 degree right and for the comment we're going to call this finish operation all right so after we have that done, let's go over here to finish parameters. This is very simple. We've done this before and we're going to leave this the same. Finish step over, leave it at zero because it's only going to be one pass all the way down to zero. Um, so if you if you put 10 thou, it's the same thing of saying one pass of 10 thou. But I would leave this at zero because you don't need to worry about each step. You're only taking one finish pass. So it's going to go across one time and finish off your entire uh, part. Okay, leaving the stock on X and Z to be zero. And the only thing you need to change over here is the lead in and lead out. You need to make sure to remember to go back to the lead out and extend that. Make sure extend the selected by 0.1, just like we've done for the roughing operation. So the tool will end up right here as well and not just leave really close to the edge of my part. Select OK and select OK. And there you go. Nice and smooth. You can see all that material is cleared up from the top of the part right here, cleaned up nice and smooth. Now, if you want to verify that, you're welcome to. You can come over here. You always have to make sure they're all selected. Okay, I can start closing up my uh, operations and let's go ahead and verify that. All right, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and go ahead and play them. So there's my facing operation taking place. Then comes my roughing operation I'll speed that up just a little bit. And there's my grooves. And nice and clean is my finish operation. You don't need to finish this, the grooves, because you finished them within the groove operation. All right, so the last thing we need to do is cut off our part, and we will do that in the next video.